no Hawaiians. We got to go through a lot, yeah? We go through a lot every day, and it just seems like history keeps repeating itself. But what is the one thing that happens is that we kupa'a, maua mau, yeah? And we keep on pushing no matter what, because we know what is pono, yeah? And what is pono is aloha aina, yeah? Pono. Our kupuna, everything that they taught us, that is what's pono, yeah? Kupa'a ika pono, oya no kakako, yeah? Backs, but we won't do it anymore Because we see the light and it shines so bright Upon the hill of our fathers before So forward higher My brothers don't waste no time The days they are getting so shorter The nights they are getting so cold the days they are getting so shorter And the nights they are getting so cold In 2040 they say we gone away We would never let them control Hawaiian man, take back your Hawaiian land Hawaiian man, Hawaiian man, take control So forward higher, my brothers don't waste no time The days they are getting so shorter, the nights they are getting so cold The days they are getting so shorter, and the nights they are getting so cold In 2040 they say we gone away we could never let them control Hawaiian man, take back your Hawaiian land Hawaiian man, Hawaiian man, take control yeah. We gone away, we could never let them control Hawaiian man, take back your Hawaiian land Hawaiian man, Hawaiian man, take control, yeah Take control, yeah, yeah. Take control, yeah. Take control. In 2040, they say we gone away. We could never let them control. Hawaiian man, take back your Hawaiian land. Hawaiian man, Hawaiian man, take control, yeah. Controller. Mahalo nui, mahalo nui. So I'm gonna play a... Uh, song that was written a um, couple years ago when I was living in Hilo and um, a good friend and I we were sitting around and we were just talking story and then this song came out of it the song is called um, Truth and Rights and it pretty much like I said earlier it just talks about us in general yeah us Kanaka Aina and um, this is actually the first time we're well, I'm gonna bust this song out, so we'll see what happens, huh?
I am my way of living in Georgia side. We're moving now to Babylon, a long, long road, which we must travel to rest our souls within the hills of Mount Zion. Brethren try to cheat I with deception and lies. We no get mad, we just go laugh, enjoy your style. Old enough to see the fight and I will be, will lead me to Lahui, Lahui, lead in my feet. A pa'a in my stomach, a pa'a my mouth from it. The strength to hold it in your skin's the toughest, yay. Beliefs take years to become a lifestyle. So before you go run and tell, let's sit and think for a while, yeah. I am my way of living in Jaja side. We're moving now to Babylon, a long, long road, which we must travel. To rest our souls within the hills of Mount Zion. See, no matter what you do, no matter what you say, it seems you always treat I with suspicion. But I refuse to be just like my enemy. Show no love, just hate. Quick to retaliate, yay. Yes, I might not choose the right way. Live roots and culture day by day. Your truth and right. I am my way of living in Jaja side. We're moving now to Babylon, yeah, a long, long road, which we must travel to rest our souls within the hills of Mount Zion, to rest our souls. Within the hills of Mount Zion To rest our souls Within the hills of Mount Zion <laughs> Mahalo, mahalo I was thinking when I was sitting down earlier, how am I supposed to go after my kumu? Yeah, ho, that guy was just killing it. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Mahalo. <laughs> uh. Okay, so I'm gonna just keep this, keep this going now. Um, here's another song I wrote. Um, the song is entitled King. And I wrote this song <clears throat> uh, after I saw this, this saying from um, Kalakaua, and he pretty much said, not word for word, but what, he, well, what I got out of it was, we don't ever let anybody not from here, we don't let outsiders come to tear down the pillars that we built, yeah? We do not allow people from outside to do that, to come in and tell us how we should, what we should, when we should. Aole loa, yeah? So from that mana'o came this mele. <laughs> I 
with the words of the righteous. So it is said, so it shall be done. I heed the words of the elder ones, they whisper softly to keep on pushing on. on trodden on I see the works of Kupuna passed down to I and I for future come I see the trail that was left for we and now we follow Keep on pushing on, yeah. We keep on trotting on. Never give up, never give in. You listen to the sound of the king. Always trot on, always push in. Never give up, never give in. I said you listen to the sound of the king. Always try on, always push in. I hear the words Kupuna say. I speak the words of yesterday. I walk the path they left for me. Yes, I seek the truth in everything. As it is said, so it is done. For I and I, for future come, we keep on pushing on. Yeah. We keep on trotting on. Yeah. Listen to the sound of the king. Always try to always push in. Never give up, never give in. I said you listen to the sound of the king. Always try to always push Mahalo, mahalo. Uh, okay, so <laughs> I'm just gonna switch up the mood now, yeah? Mele Hawaii time. Mele Hawaii. Okay, so the song I want to do is um, um, Kaleo Hano. And I chose this song for a couple of reasons. One, because um, it would be long talks with my wife when I get home if I don't play this because she kill Kaha. <laughs> and two, I don't know, I just, this is one of my Mele Puna Hele. But, for real, no even reason, we just jam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Switch it up one more time, yeah? One more time. Switch them up. Just keep on switching, huh? <laughs> so, um, this next couple of songs we're gonna play is actually the songs that got me started playing music, yeah? The songs that I was introduced to by my uh, Makua. And um, this is, this right here is my, uh, my upbringing, yeah? So, here we go. Here we go. Hanging on, not knowing why. Found the reason for staying. Found the beauty in saying, This is my, my own. Because here there are rainbows and mid morning showers. The people are laughing. Loving their hours, the young and the old men back home, we are brothers. So I'm staying alone. Home, I've got to be there. Home, I've got to be there. I am staying, but why I'm leaving? I'm just hanging on, not knowing why. I found the reason for staying. Found the beauty in saying, This is my, my own. Because here 
because here there are rainbows and mid-morning showers. The people are laughing, loving their hours. The old and the young men back home, we are brothers. So I'm staying on home. I've got to be there. Home, I've got to be there. Home, I've got to be there. I've got to be there. Three guarantee songs, the ball, the ball barons ones. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, you see your mind, and 
I'll believe you every single time Even though they say you're not my kind I just can't believe you lie Oh, all my friends are laughing They're seeing you out with other men, I'm dying can't you see it in my eyes? I'm crying. I just can't believe you're not mine. Now, would you hurt the man who loves you? Would you hurt the man today? Would you take the love you gave me away? And oh, would you hurt the man who loves you? Would you hurt the man today? Would you take the love you gave me away? Oh, what have I done? All the time I guess it was just fun I gave away the sweetest girl I knew Oh, just for you Would you hurt the man who loves you? Would you hurt the man today? Would you take the love you gave me away? No, oh, would you hurt the man who loves you? Would you hurt the man today? Would you take the love you gave me away? Girl, to spoil your fun, I can run. No, 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 I can run. Well, I guess I had it coming. Well, I fooled around before when I was tired, and now my freedom stings me. I could hide, but I still. A fool all my life. Would you hurt the man who loves you? Would you hurt the man today? Would you take the love you gave me away? And oh, would you hurt the man who loves you? Would you hurt the man today? Would you take the love you gave me away? Mahalo. Huh? <laughs> Am I done? Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> huh? <laughs> now, for real, what, what was my time looking like? Oh, what? We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> you know, you know. okay. Um, so, there was uh, good news, yeah, a couple days ago. Aole uh, TNT. Yeah? Yeah? Kukia Imauna. Yeah. So, for this movement, this Kukia Imauna movement, um, I wrote a song and. This song is entitled, Hemele no Papa. And what this song talks about, it's, it's a conversation between Kanaka and Aina, yeah? It's a conversation for Kanaka and Papa. We're letting each other know that we hear you, yeah? Us as Kanaka, we heard the call, yeah? We heard the call, Papa was calling out to us and we answered, yeah? We answered strong. And look at what the outcome was, yeah? The Pono. Pono was the outcome. Yeah? Pono was the outcome. So this Mele, Hey Mele No Papa. Um, this is a really brand new song and I'm gonna be all self-conscious about it because it's the first time doing it in public, so... <laughs> but whatever. Yeah. 
I had to take so much songs off my list because other guys didn't play before me. What the heck? I guess I'm just going to jam a couple more songs. Okay, so... Um, <clears throat> this is guaranteed the reason why I picked up a guitar was this song right here. 
Okay. <laughs> I better play I'm good then, yeah. <laughs> okay, for real though. This is my uh, Mele Puna Hele, and the whole reason why I wanted to learn how to play guitar was so I could jam this song. I'm not even gonna tell you what song it is, I'm just gonna play them. <laughs> okay, call him, call him. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> the night wind take a star to her for me please whisper I love her tell her wait for me dear it seems so cold now how I miss her arms around me so not bird of love make her wait for me I'll let you go almost every night. Loneliness can dull the shine of even the bright moonlight. Night bird, fly on, fly on. Night bird, sing her my song. Before you leave, take this band of gold with you. And if you can find her, tell her I am true. You have wings, no, I'll let you go almost every night. Loneliness can dull the shine of even the bright moonlight. Night bird, fly on, fly on. Ooh, I sing, night bird, sing her my song. Night bird, fly on, fly on. Night bird, fly on. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. I think I'm just gonna go to the kick me off, bro. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. Last song, last song, right there, right there, right there. You know what? I changed my mind. This is gonna be my last song. Not that's too slow. That's too slow. That's too slow. <laughs> okay, last song. Last song. <laughs>
Nokia haia mea e maune i luna o kokako. Nokia haia mea e ai i anei la i luna o kokako. Ke la hai la. Puki i ala i lalo. Ke la hai e la vahi hai e la. Puki i ala i lalo. Mahe a hoa e velo ai, ua hai a li i o kako. Mahe a hoa e kupono ai hoi, ua hai a loha o kako, coca cola. Puki i a la iluna, coca cola hai la. Puki i a la iluna. มาเฮียโฮอาเอเฟลโลไออัวไฮยาลีอีโอคาโคมาเฮียโฮอาเอคูปโนไอโฮอีอัวไฮยาโลฮาโอคาโคโคคาโคลาบุกิอียาลา
This song is entitled Prisoner. This song came, um, came about because um, a while ago we had, we had another battle with Ivi Kupuna, yeah? Some more Aina and some more Kupuna we had to protect, yeah? And um, we wrote this song because we had a good, good Kanaka, had to go prison. He went to prison for his beliefs, yeah? And like I said before, it's like, we hear, it, we hear the same song over and over again, yeah? The same thing happens over and over again. Hawaiians being Hawaiians, and what, and what happens? We go jail. We go jail for being Hawaiian, yeah? We go jail for Malama Aina. We go jail for Aloha Aina, yeah? So, this song, this song came from the struggle. This song comes for the struggle, yeah? supposed to keep moving and why am I a nice subject of your doing you take our culture and throw it away you leave only remnants of yesterday And why do we fight one another, I say, yeah. There's only one solution to the situation, yeah. Oh, wise man, he told me some time ago to learn your roots and culture the way your ancestors know walk in the path of those who paved the way of those who paved the way Take our culture and throw it away You leave only remnants of yesterday And why do we fight one another, I say yeah. There's only one solution to the situation Yeah, yeah A prisoner in my own land Under the shadow of unrighteous men you deny our birthright and our way of living. Well, how am I and I supposed to keep moving? And why am I and I subject of your doing? See, how am I and I supposed to keep moving? Why am I and I? Why am I and I? Mm 
Mahalo nu ilo. Ahoi ho kako, malama. Okay, how about another round of applause, guys? Okay, you're representing Fai Fuakura. Come on, little lot of man, come on, guys, give it up, give it up. There you go, that's more like it. Oh, so. um, okay, so, before we get before we get our last group coming on, oh, we get Kapoho Alaha coming up, Kolu. Wait, and then Loa. We get a couple of stuff coming up, so once again, thank you guys for coming to Lakua Koa, a celebration put it, getting put on by NHSS. Yeah, oh. We get action up here, sorry. Um, oh. Okay, we get one more giveaway, guys. So over here we get Kanako EV methodologies. For anybody who knows what a methodology is, I'm still learning, so figure it out. Um, oh man, what should the question be, guys? Oh, okay. I get one. If you guys can name the two other nations that was involved in the Anglo-France proclamation, that's not Kaulu. You can have the book. Um, if you go and find, oh, 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 oh. You guys gotta go. You guys gotta go to Allison. 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 That's that. People give people for answer the question. Anyway, so yeah, please pay attention to these young Kanaka. Yeah, they're coming up in the community to get stuff out there that's for you and I. So please check it out. Aloha mai kako. Oh, hea o ko e nga hoa o la loha vai'i. O ke kula o manoa nei. O ke kaya ulu. O honolulu. O o ahu. O hao vai'i. He ho o la hake ia. Nga ka hui aloha aina tua hine. He hua ka i o la loha vai'i ka mako. E ho o la la nei. E hua ka i i waipao. Ka papaha na kua o la mahe e ia. E ma ka i ka i ke la aina. A e huli ka lima i lalo. A e ku ka he ka he maka o la loha vai'i. Me nga hoa o la loha vai'i. No la i la i nga hoi hoi o ko. Eia ka pelaha e kipa i ke pākau kau ma Leila A e ole ua hiki ke hele mai ka hala vai I ke ia po a kolu a e ma Campus Center I ka hola I ka hola e hiku ma Campus Center So aloha mai kako This is a hoolaha from the hui aloha aina tua hine And it's the olala hawai i club on campus at UH Manoa And it's an invitation to any hoa olala hawai i who wants to Come and join us for our huaka'i to uh, Papahana Kuaola at Waipao Heia. And it's going to be on the 20th and 21st of this month. And if you want to come, we're going to have a halawai at Campus Center. And come check out the flyer that's at the table over there. So it's open and it's a, we're going to go learn about mo'olelo of that aina. And we're going to go work the aina over there as well as just enjoy Kuka, kuka, and speaking olala Hawaii with our friends. So mahalo nui. Go keep at the table over there. Aloha. How's it? Um, my name is uh, Loa Patau. Um, I started a petition to uh, restore the original name of McKinley High School. Um, so today I was down at the campus center and getting signatures and um, sharing some information about it, but just to share a little bit of information with you guys. Um, McKinley High School was once called Honolulu High School. Um, in 1907, they changed it to McKinley High to honor President William McKinley for passing the joint, um, the joint resolution to annex uh, Hawaii. But as we know, um, you can't annex a, a country outside of your borders with a joint um, resolution. So. You need a treaty, which the U.S. till this day doesn't possess. So, Bill, shoots right on. Okay, so um, the uh, U.S. doesn't have the treaty to illegally or to legally have um, Hawaii in its hands. So, I feel that McKinley shouldn't be celebrated. And I'm not a graduate of that school, but I think it's greater than. Just being from that high school, it's more of a uh, a bigger thing than that. So, 
what I wanted to do is to either restore the name or to have the dialogue and the discussions to open up a forum to actually change the, the name of that school. Because we know that he, there's a statue in front of the school that has, um, he's holding the Treaty of Annexation, which is totally false. So um, if you want any more information, you can find me. I'll be sucking some beers over there. And shoots, thanks for your time. A lot. Les Hutchins. He's on his way here now. Hopefully he arrives in a couple of minutes. But Les is a uh, stevedore for Matson, uh, And he's passionate about his genealogy. And he met with me, and we, we traded things, and we've talked for a few years. Um, and he is one of those great grandsons of John Henry Wise. John Henry Wise's daughter, Ella Wise, went around the islands and founded the churches called Kamakua Mauloa. So those churches, the Ho'omanana Oao churches and the Kamakua Mauloa churches, those come out of the genealogy of John Henry Wise. I spoke last year at the Ahapa'aina for the churches, out in Keau Ho. And there were six generations of Wise there. So he's, his people are out there. His genealogy is out there today. Um, we need to remember those people. We need to remember those families. We need to remember those acts. We need to remember your university had Native Hawaiians running it. It had Native Hawaiians being a part of it. It had Native Hawaiians that made it up. We've unlearned that history. Yeah? So let's learn it once again. So I ask all of you, when you talk about that area down there, remember, that's John Wise Field. Tell your teachers, that's John Wise Field. Tell your administration. Your administration works for you. Yeah? They're hired to be your workers. This university campus is your campus. Yeah? Tell them that that is John Wise Field. Yeah? Keep telling that story, and that story will grow. And it'll, hopefully that'll be the spark of the first of many. Yeah? We don't have to just name buildings after people who give the university $5 million. We can create a native Hawaiian place of learning as it should be. So I encourage you all to remember John Wise, to remember the fact that that's John Wise Field. If you're interested in more information, this group of Halmana will be, will be spending the next eight months to a year getting the information out, telling people his story. And once again, they'll make this a native Hawaiian place of learning. Yeah? Mahalo. This is Jacob, he's gonna say a couple words. So um, if you wanna support that, we have the petition on that um, table over there, so please sign the um, petition. And what I plan to um, do is next fall, I'm gonna um, submit a resolution to ASUH so that um, the student body, when I submit this to the administration, it has a full backing of the entire um, student body. So, mahalo. Okay, thank you guys. Okay, so we're talking about the petition. I don't see nobody getting up out of your chair going sign on, guys. So let's get to that. Get active, you know. Um, we also get prizes. So I was saying, guys, NHSS are providing us with two prizes tonight. And so whoever can go over there and answer this question first correctly will receive a book and a notepad. And if anybody values education and academia in this world of academia, we know that books are very important. So uh, my question to you guys is, and they gave you guys an answer, is, what year and for what reason was John Wise in prison? What year and for what reason was John Wise in prison? Yeah. Look on your sheet. <coughs> anyway, um, so up next, we're gonna get some melee. We get, we get some, get some melee going. And some, we're talking about Lakupo. We're talking about our independence. We're talking about our identity here as Kanaka and our sovereignty and our yeah, and our identity. Yeah. So we're talking. So go over there. Sign the petition. You guys still not going? Come on, guys, get out there. And if you get more active, why don't you guys go inside, meet somebody in there, shake the hand, tell them your name, and tell them go sign the petition and tell them why we're here. Yes. Yeah. And so, our mom is here. Yeah. Our descendant of John Wise is here. So we can give him a couple minutes just to talk story, and then after that we get um, Pokey coming up of Ipohaku. So we just need a couple minutes, couple minutes, talk story. So go over there, sign a petition, get ready, guys. Right on, mahalo. So um, this is a man I met about five years ago, uh, Les Hutchins. Les Hutchins is a great grandson of John Henry Wise. For me, this is why these stories are important, yeah? These stories live. These, you know, these stories are not about academics. These stories are not about people who publish articles. These stories are about Ohana. Uh, and this is his great-grandson, and, and this story has been important to him for a long time. So I just wanted Les to, to say why that story was so, so important to him. Yeah. Well, well, 
Uh, when I grew up, I knew, I knew a lot of things about my great-grandfather. I knew that he wrote Homestead. Uh, he was a territorial senator in 1915. He introduced Homestead, but he made him for one drop because he was afraid at the time with only 40,000 pure Hawaiians left and all the immigrants coming down that the bloodline was going to be depleted. Like me, I, I don't know half, I want eight shot of half, so I can't get home state. I gotta get him through my mother. So that's all I knew, but Ron introduced me and he, you know, I found all kinds of new stuff about him that he played football, he went to prison for trying, trying to put uh, the queen back into power. And he, he wrote the first Hawaiian to English book. First, he's from the first class of Kamehameha. He's the first Hawaiian teacher at Kamehameha. He's the second professor over here. But, you know, Kamehameha schools, they never named nothing after him. <laughs> you know what I mean? They, they named that uh, library after, uh, what is his name, Midkif. But my great-grandfather is the one who did the Hawaiian side. And Midkif, he never had Hawaiian at that time. He married one Hawaiian later on, but, you know, it's just like, if you want Hawaiian, but, you know, they, they don't recognize you, you gotta, you gotta be a white person for, you know, forget the, you know, the, my Auntie Gladys is the, the Hawaiian center is named after her, but my great-grandfather, he did a lot more things than my Auntie Gladys, but Auntie Gladys got the Hawaiian center named after her, Kamaka Kuokalani. So uh, I'm trying to get my great-grandfather right now into uh, the Polynesian Hall of Fame, seeing how he's the first <coughs> Polynesian to play football. But I get in a hard time. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I'm glad Ron introduced me to all these things, and, you know, I'm just trying to, Get my rec uh, my great grandfather recognized for uh, his accomplishment, but I think back in his time he was uh, the Hollies never like him because he was like you know he was doing all kinds of stuff for the Hawaiians and they wanted to put him under the rug yeah, because of all the things that he was trying to do because you, you know you, you don't even know about him in history unless Ron went uh, I knew things but I never know plenty of stuff that what Ron would research so I just trying to if you guys can. I rallied in my great grandfather's church. He, he started one church in Kali, Kamakuu Maulo, in 1907. And there's branches on every island of this church. So I, I contacted my auntie, who's uh, the pastor up in Paneva, Keavikani, her last name. And I try to, she's generating letters through the, through the church for have signatures. And then my uh, other cousin, uh, Pastor Kuna, for Word of Life, uh, I, I contacted her and see if trying to get, uh, see how he was on pastor and go through the church side. Hopefully I can get enough signatures so that I can have this thing named back again. Okay, thank you very much. Mahalo. Mahalo. And then, um, so let's think about these things as well. There's, these, there's all sorts of things that we're all striving for. And so if we can all get together and help each other, that's how we help build the nation, yeah, from the bottom up. So let us let us think about our kupuna. Don't let don't let their names and don't let our history be swept under the rug anymore. Yeah. Um, so let's just remember this. Yeah. If, if we can help in any way, we should think about it definitely. So um, so now we get a kind poki here from my pohaku. You can give us a couple gems. Right on, brother. Thank you. Okay. Aloha kako, kalame. Aloha kako. Okay. So right off the bat, <laughs> the flyer said I pohaku yeah. Aloha. <laughs> Solo mission tonight, but that's okay. Because you get one aipohaku, you get them all. That's how. Okay. Try that again. Aloha kako. Laku o koa. Yeah. So, uva o poki isito no wai anai. Just gonna play some songs tonight, some mellow songs. Um, some mele Hawaii, mele aipohaku. Um, and just some songs that <clears throat> that uh, were created for this movement, yeah, for the for the Kanaka. So here we go, I guess. I will pick for you.
you put it in the basket and I'll be living free I'll be living free I'll be Sound check right there.